Hey guys, this is Primeval. We're back with part 10 of our playthrough of Duty Challenge 12. Uh, so here we've got uh, one loose army uh, that's moving on Barcelona and Argos, and a second army that's um, moving on Athens, or at least chewing up any units that are coming from Athens, and also moving on Argos. So if we are trying to go for a quick domination victory, then it doesn't really make a lot of sense to be attacking Spain since we already have their capital. But Spain did start forward settling on us uh, over uh, right here. They settled uh, New Seville. And also, they do have enough production to make an army that could make trouble for us. So I think we our plan now is just to go and absorb the rest, or at least these two Spanish cities. If they happen to have a third, I'll let them keep that, just so we don't get the uh, diplomatic penalty for eliminating a sieve. And uh, that'll actually be really good for us. Uh, Ragusa wants a road. We'll go and uh, build a road up this way. That's um, five tiles. And then it'll be really cheap for us to hook up to the Greek uh, road network. And that will uh, that might already uh, be connected up with the Spanish road network, since uh, Spain did capture Argos from the Greeks. Now, we're currently unhappy. And if we go take a look at our city-states. Um, we're about to lose both of our mercantile allies. Genoa wants Tengrism, and uh, we also have a ceremonial burial with Tengrism. So let's go and buy ourselves a missionary here, and we can go uh, spread that to Warsaw for one happiness off of ceremonial burial, and then uh, spread that to Genoa, which should get our influence back. So long as another AI doesn't go and um, throw a bunch of money at Genoa. Uh, so, in terms of uh, our happiness resources, we are selling everything that we can here. And I think that's pretty much everything uh, caught up. Yes, um, if we can maintain diplomatic relations with Tyr here, that would be great. Um, they have a lot of units here, so if uh, Harold or uh, Sejong decide to declare war on us, um, if we can maintain ally status with Tyr, they'll uh, cause a good distraction. Uh, anyways, let's turn the turn over. Um, but first we need to tell our workers that they can continue their work. Alright, so Isabella just built a wonder for us. We did lose a crossbow. Uh, hopefully he wasn't a very well promoted crossbow. Uh, Genoa, we've fallen to just friend status. Uh, an enemy has been spotted in our territory. And unfortunately that means um, our great prophet uh, won't be able to run over to Warsaw as quickly as we would like. He's, uh, this barbarian brute zone of control is blocking our movement along the road. Especially now that we finished that bridge. Um, if this barb wasn't there, we'd be in much better shape. Now let's see, can this horseman get here? No. Alright, that uh, was an unanticipated hiccup. Okay, let's repair those furs, and uh, we've got a horseman, a bunch of units over here. Continuing to trim down units around Argos. We're actually number one on the score chart here, and that's because we have uh, more cities than everyone else. Um, all the other players haven't really been able to uh, make progress against their neighbors. Um, so we're leading on land here, um, but on all of the other measures, uh, we're not doing fantastic. We are only 10 techs behind the tech leader, which isn't great, but it's better uh, than it could be. On soldiers, we're also doing uh, just around the average, so that's definitely good. 
uh, we can still attack in eight turns, uh, but we're hitting our next policy in four turns. Uh, so that's bad timing for us. We would like the next policy to open up rationalism, um, but uh, short of annexing some of our cities, which I'm not sure if I want to do here, um, we'll have to reconsider that as we approach um, the next policy. Okay, so unfortunately there isn't anything I can do about that brute. We'll have to send our um, missionary around the long direction. Um, let's go and deal some damage to that composite bow. And here. So we finished that trading post. Um, up next, nothing was really pillaged. We can put a trading post on that jungle as well. And let's go and advance our crossbowmen. We finished physics, so a policy in four turns we don't have a faster way to get into the Renaissance. Um, we could go straight for acoustics here and then annex a couple of our cities to delay our policy. Um, in terms of the science, that would be our best course of action. We could annex three cities and that might push us to eight turns. Uh, if we annexed all four cities, we would face a lot of unhappiness and uh, that should get us to eight turns. Um, I don't think I want to do that though. Um, yeah. We'll just uh, sink our next policy into discipline uh, or warrior code. Patronage is also a small option there because we're not really pushing for a strong science game here. Um, we'll just see what we can do with some uh, obsolete units. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar has made war with, or made peace with Korea uh, because uh, Korea has other things to worry about. Both Rome and Denmark have declared war on Korea, and so I'm actually really happy to see that. Um, for a while. Um, Denmark was planning to sneak attack us, um, but it looks like uh, Persia uh, wants to get its capital back. So anyway, since Korea is the leader, tech leader here, and also the score leader, um, it's good that the other AIs are working together uh, to push Korea back. Isabella has made peace with Genoa, so has Alexander, Bucharest. Antwerp, here, we're suddenly very unhappy here, let's clear that out, get us over to Warsaw, and spread the faith, and the last use will be on Genoa, let's see here, Okay, so this crossbowman is fairly injured. Uh, we'll want to go and pull it back home. We can grab rough terrain bonus and uh, start moving our troops forward. Since it does look like the Persians want to make something happen, we should bring our crossbow back to Cardiff and resource wise uh, we don't have anything we can sell without becoming extremely unhappy.
finish our road. That'll get us another happiness as well. And move the crossbows in on Spain. Here we can get the furs online, and I think we will, even though if we built a road instead, uh, our missionary could get to Genoa a little faster. So now we should have two furs, one of which we can sell. Let's see. Korea, Caesar, and Harold. Um, if Korea will trade us for spices. Uh, they won't. Uh, so let's go and trade with Harold. Or Rome. Hopefully we're still good friends with Rome. I think it's the first you want to trade here. Yeah. Okay, so Isabel's offering us peace, but nowhere near uh, the full amount. Uh, Alexander has a lot of gold to offer us, so we can take that. Um, let's see. That's nowhere near all of their gold per turn, though. Um, six gold per turn. A thousand gold is definitely nice. Uh, so I think we'll go and take this here. Or, well, why don't we kill a few more of his units and then see what else he has to say about that. So Alexander just finished Machu Picchu. Um, there's an enemy missionary nearby. Let's see if we can go and stop some of that. Doesn't look like we'll be able to, but let's go and buy ourselves an Inquisitor as well. Um, purchase one Inquisitor. Uh, that allows to stamp out this holy city uh, and also repair some of the damage from these Greek missionaries. Let's work on that road and uh, get us a little closer. Actually, we don't need a road here. Um, Okay, so Greece has built us Machu Picchu. Greece is now protecting Genoa. So we definitely want to get over there and um, get our great prophet to convert Genoa um, before Greece buys it up. And they definitely have the money for that. Now, here. Let's go and deal a whole bunch of damage to the Greek units and then uh, make peace with them. Uh, it's probably time to retreat our crossbowmen as well. And 
it's also time to move in on Barcelona. Maybe we can get closer to uh, the copper as well. And let's go and get in the way of these missionaries. don't think there are any range units or uh, mounted units that can run in here, so I'll use my great general as a shield against those missionaries, and uh, we can go and fortify there. Um, our horsemen can also go and run away. Okay, let's see what Alex will offer for peace now. A uh, little less gold per turn, but a little more gold up front. Uh, let's take one more look at the situation here. Yeah, we're going to be busy with Spain first, uh, and so we can hold off on the Greeks for 10 turns here. And also, uh, this will stop them from buying up Genoa, uh, so I'll accept this deal. Now we have a nice pile of money, and we're happy again. So we can go and purchase our next university. Uh, so we already have a university in Cardiff and Edinburgh. Let's go and purchase our university over in Dublin. Uh, we can't afford to employ those slots yet, so let's make sure we're growing uh, as fast as we can. Go and swap that spot out, and perhaps put a farm in there. That'll be quite helpful. Uh, Edinburgh as well uh, wants to be working the farms. Okay, growth in 10 turns, that's not bad. Likewise, Cardiff will want to keep growing here. Uh, growth in 12 turns, uh, growth in 10 and 12 turns, and here, uh, that's probably good enough. Okay, excess luxuries. We have no excess luxuries. On to the next turn. So Alex isn't too happy with us, and we just lost a crossbow here um, to this pikeman. Greece is protecting Ragusa and Tyre. Greece has denounced Denmark and me. Zurich wants uh, Tengrism. We can go and pledge to protect all of these city states. Natural Wonders, Greece is an ally of Jerusalem now, and we triggered a few We Love the King days off of the silver, so that's fantastic. And if we can somehow get, oops, that was not what I wanted to do at all, and we don't have embarkation. Uh, so, it's going to take us a while to get our great prophet uh, into Genoa, or uh, our missionary rather. And let's get started on that road to Ragusa. Uh, 
so here, all of that is fine. Continue making the trading posts. And we have the Inquisitor. So Barcelona is at 40 strength. We might need uh, something stronger to take it down. And this Inquisitor can remove Zoroastrianism, and uh, that would get us closer to getting the majority of religion here. Uh, let's go and do that. Uh, and so, uh, with all of the pressure that was built up there, that was an instant conversion. And I do believe uh, that's the end of Zoroastrianism. So we've eliminated that. Um, unless these guys can spawn themselves another great prophet, um, that's the end of that religion. So, on to the next turn. Let's hope we don't lose another crossbow here. Uh, luxury resources, maybe not. Um, our crossbows are definitely getting worn down, but we haven't lost one. Uh, so we have enough to grab ourselves a new policy. If we do go and annex a city, uh, we can delay that. So let's take a look at our economic overview and have a look at our cities here. Uh, we could go and annex the Spanish capital as well as the um, the Spanish capital. Let's go and annex this now. And that doesn't increase our policy costs significantly. Um, what if we annex Madrid as well? Okay, so now it's two turns, uh, which isn't an quite enough, and we're also very unhappy. Uh, let's go to production focus here. Um, so, I'm really hoping to get into Renaissance uh, via our text deal, which comes in four turns. I don't think I have any other way of slowing our culture per turn down. Uh, we're not working any specialist slots, uh, cultural specialist slots. Hmm. Well, we'll deal with that when we hit uh, two turns from now. Uh, but we do want to go and see if we can fix our happiness somehow. Okay. Oops. They are our allies. Um, let's go and take some of these guys down.
Okay, let's put a farm in here. And this worker. Can go and help with the road to Ragusa. All right, so we just finished the Colosseum. Uh, we could go and work on a workshop or a market. Uh, Madrid can also go and switch to production focus. Uh, that gets us our university a couple turns sooner. Uh, yeah. Now this missionary uh, would appreciate if Genoa would let us go and spread Tengrism to them. So I would like to continue growing, so I'm going to go and throw some money at Zanzibar here, especially since we have the Gold Gifts Quest. Um, it's only 60 influence that will bring us up to 70, uh, and so we should maintain relations with them for a little while, especially since they're already following our religion. Um, but they are hostile, so it's uh, minus 1.12 uh, influence per turn. Uh, they'll also go and distract Persia if Persia decides to declare war on us. So it looks like Persia does have uh, an army going here. Three swordsmen and two catapults. Uh, as far as how our cities are growing, all of that looks okay. Next turn. Uh, we are losing more units here. We should definitely be more careful uh, since each of our units uh, takes uh, a lot more effort for us to train than uh, the AI does. Uh, and unfortunately, despite asking the two cities, um, we were not able to delay our social policy. Um, so I think we will have to go and grab something here. Uh, we do have a lot of influence with a lot of different city-states, so I think we'll open up patronage here. Uh, we should have spent our other policy on patronage as well, since just getting the honor opener is pretty useless. Um, but uh, patronage is going to pay off more for us here. So let's go grab patronage, and then on the rest of our policies we'll go and sink into rationalism. So a lot of this stuff, I just um, am deciding on the fly. If I was planning this out better, if we were planning it all out a little better, we would be into rationalism already. Now as it is, it'll be 30 turns until we can get into rationalism. So that's uh, not very good for our tech rate. So Truro has just finished a workshop. They can go and hard build a university since um, we won't really need the university until we have enough citizens to actually go and employ the specialist slots. We lost a crossbowman. We really do need to be more careful with what's going ar on around uh, Barcelona. Let's go and capture Argos. And we can uh, move on Barcelona in earnest. And by that time, our peace treaty with the Greeks should be over and we can shift over to Athens. Okay, so that road towards Ragusa. And 
our great missionary, or our missionary can finally get adjacent to Genoa here. And we can go and spread Tengrism. And uh, that is not quite enough to flip it over, uh, but with one more citizen uh, we will complete that quest. Hopefully we'll flip them next turn. Six turns until a gunpowder. I guess Korea just uh, became allies with Bucharest there. And It was just for one turn that they were allies with Bucharest. Okay, what do we want in Dublin? We can go and grab ourselves a workshop. It's gonna farm here. Okay. And... Let's go and take this city down finally. Uh, no cost to pillage. can go and fortify there and take out this conquistador. Madrid has just finished its university. Let's have them build their own courthouse. Um, if I employ people at the university, the courthouse still takes six turns. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, so that looks really good. Luxury resource wise, we do have extra furs. Um, but that's because we're getting furs from well, we're trading the one from Warsaw away. We're getting some from Ragusa, uh, some from Zanzibar. Okay, horses to Caesar, truffles to Harold. Someone stole education from us, so the AIs are stealing text from us. That's interesting. Milan is way over here. Okay, so we should, well we have our tech steal chance next turn. Hopefully we'll be able to steal attack and our spy won't be executed. Um, it's quite possible that he will be because uh, there's a constabulary in Korea and last we checked, or last time, uh, that's where also where we lost our spy. So there might be a veteran spy performing counter espionage in Seoul. But Seoul, or Korea is the tech leader, and we had the highest tech steal rate in Seoul. So um, I'm going to chance it here. It uh, It might be a bad idea, but I'm doing it. Let's go and grab that city. Oops. Um, so I misclicked and hit raise. Um, I actually wouldn't mind keeping that city around uh, resource wise. We already have citrus, so it's not a big deal, but um, this city could have got us some gold. It's already 
has a trading post or two trading posts. I know that's a lumber mill, uh, but it's got double citrus that we could sell. It's got a road. Um, oh well, misclicks happen. Go and advance these units on Spain. Okay, so since our capital is working the two horses here, let's go and grab a stable. Um, an amphitheater might be nice, but uh, let's go for the production first. Resource-wise, uh, we do have spare truffles, so let's go and sell those. Uh, Harold has a lot of money, but he's a little lukewarm uh, in terms of his uh, relations with us. So let's go and sell that to... Rome then. Now they already have the truffles from us. Uh, perhaps Alexander might be interested in some truffles. Uh, they also want our citrus and an embassy. Try 150. Okay, so that's not going to happen, but we can sell our embassy. And I guess uh, Harold is our only buyer for the truffles. Okay, 172 is better than no money. Uh, for happiness purposes, we can go and purchase a courthouse here. And on to turn 143. Okay, good. So we can uh, steal a tech here. Uh, we're already researching gunpowder. Uh, chivalry uh, is the next tech who can steal, and it's actually not a very good tech. Um, hmm. 300, 400, we'll grab chivalry, but that doesn't even push us into the Renaissance. I would have thought, ah, uh, okay, so we didn't have. Uh, Korea doesn't have acoustics, and we needed chivalry to grab printing press, so uh, we're getting into the Renaissance in two turns, but our next social policy isn't for 26. Uh, here we can grab the open terrain and fortify until healed. Bucharest is looking for assistance against Denmark. And Argos is burning down. Continue advancing here. We captured ourselves a great profit. Uh, it still has four religious spreads left. Uh, that might mean we can use it to settle a holy site. Um, our peace treaty with Greece should be ending soon, uh, so we won't... Uh, 
take away too many of our crossbows. And continue that road, please. Here, let's go and repair some tiles since uh, it's no longer an annexed city. Resource wise, we're good. On to the next turn. Except, oh yes, we do have extra horses we can sell here. Uh, so let's go and sell, see if we can sell uh, Rome some more of our horses. Greece has denounced Korea. That's uh, because we told the Greeks that the Koreans were plotting against them. Some more barbarians running around here, and the Persians looks like uh, look like they want a war. We finished that farm, which should help Dublin grow a little faster. finished our workshop, let's get to work on a university. And here we're advancing our crossbows. Uh, on Barcelona. Argos has converted to another religion, but that's okay. We're going to burn it down in a turn, or a couple turns. We should probably go and buy ourselves a unit back here. Um, if only because the Persians look like they're itching for a fight. Uh, selling truffles to Korea has just ended. We do have the spare truffles. Let's see if they'll uh, rebuy those. Okay, better than nothing. So let's go and purchase a crossbow in Edinburgh. And here we can go and trim down some more of Spain's units. And continue advancing our units on Spain. Uh, Corinth, there's Zurich, and I think this is where we'll leave uh, the video, and I'll see you in part 11.